Hey guys, it's Nyala and for today's video, I'm going to be doing my skincare routine. You guys have been asking for a skincare routine in a really, 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 really long time. And I've never done it because I never really perfected my routine until like two weeks ago. Let me go ahead and tell you guys the type of skin I have. But my skin is very, very, very dry. The only time it ever gets oily is on my eyelids which I know is really weird. Kinda oily right now. Kinda always have to go like that because they get oily. Everything else on my skin is super duper dry. I get really dry around my nose um, and sometimes I'll get dry patches along my cheeks which sucks so much whenever you're doing makeup because uh, the makeup won't stick to the dry patch so it's like really weird. But you know your girl had to drop a little skincare routine, honey, y'all, okay? And I make sure that my skin does not cause any acne. So one of the things that really help with uh, making sure I'm acne free is to make sure you take off your makeup at night. The Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water is really, really good to take your makeup off. Just get a good cotton pad and take it off. Um, I used to use the Neutrogena wipes, but I felt like those dried out my skin a lot. And I don't know, it kind of like gave a little bit of a burning sensation. So I think my cellar water is a little bit more better to use rather than using wipes because I have not found a really good makeup wipe yet, but my cellar water is actually really good. So this is not a sponsored video, which I know a lot of people, people have been asking me to do a skincare routine that is not sponsored because we all know a ton, 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 ton of skincare routines are sponsored by brands like all the time. Okay. So my sister's dermatologist gave her these Neutrogena um, Hydro Boost Gel Cream Moisturizers. Um, she gave them to me because she said she didn't really like the moisturizer, but I fell in love with this. Um, I heard Jackie Ina talking about it, so I was going to go buy it, but the full size is like 20 bucks. Like Neutrogena, come on now. A little too expensive. I actually really like this moisturizer, and I always start off with this one. It's actually super hydrating. I have no idea why my sister doesn't like it. And the thing is that I find really big problems with is a lot of moisturizers kind of have that heavy feeling on after you put it on. And I hate that so much, guys. I love when my skin routine, what? I love it, like, after my skin routine, I want my face to feel light. Like, I don't want it to feel heavy with products. And I've made sure that everything I have today to show you guys does not feel that way. Because my old skin routine, oh my god, I hate it so much. Like, every single time I, like, put everything on, like everything felt heavy and I hate that feeling. I want my skin to feel like breathable and it felt like all those products just made it so hard for me. After that, I go in with some good old hyaluronic acid drops. Uh, my sister bought this one time and she had some issues with it, but I absolutely adore this. Like this is amazing. Like it's, it really does hydrate. Like three drops was low key too much. I did not need three drops. Cause such a little bit goes a long way. Um, if you have dry skin, um, hyaluronic acid is really, really good because it helps moisturize and it hydrates your skin. So if you are having a couple of dry patches, drop a little bit of hyaluronic acid on it um, for like a week and it will really make a big effect on your dry patches. They will go away, not instantly, but with time. Because honestly, when anything comes to your skin routine, nothing is gonna go away instantly. You have to learn that because that's just how it is. <laughs> Like it takes time. By the way, if you have acne prone skin, I heard that, um, I heard dry, uh, dry lotion or drying lotion is really, really good from Marva Desco. It's like $17. I already looked into it and I heard that within a day, it makes your acne go away. Well, not acne, but like pimples. If you have a pimple, put a little bit on there and it should go away within the next couple of days. Also, another one that's really good is this one by Origins. I do not remember the name of it. If I do, I'll put a picture here or I'll put the name of it or the link in the description box just because I heard that one's good too. Now, after I put in my hyaluronic acid, I like to go in with this skin toner. So this is like a spray toner. Um, this is the Thayer's one. You can get this from Target. It's like $15, I think. Um, this is the Witch Hazel, oh, the Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula. Um, this is in the scent of Rose Petal. And what I love about this, guys, it's a spray. I love things like this. It's so easy to just, just 
I was like, this could so easy to spray over your face. And like, I hate when products like toners, you have to like go like this and go like this. Like it's so much extra. And this is so much easy because it's just, in a, it's in a spray bottle. And right, now this part might make me uh, die guys because my sister's gonna kill me. But um, this is my sister's um, like skin thing. It's like, you know, I don't know if they call like cotton pads. Cotton, cotton rounds. So I, I'm just gonna finesse one of this just for the video and just kind of blend this in. I really hope she doesn't watch my videos. Like I, she says she doesn't, but like I feel like she's gonna click on the video just to see if I use anything that's hers. And this, I yeah, timing mean, that's rough. Yes, I'm sorry. I am finessing one of these. It's not that big of a deal. Calm down. Like I'll buy you a new pack. Okay, after that, and I love this toner because this toner really does make my skin feel so smooth. It hydrates it, but not too much. So if you have oily skin, this is also gonna be really good for you. And I love the glow it gives my skin. Like, I love it so much. Everything just looks really healthy, and my skin just feels revitalized, kind of. To finish it off, I go with my Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. Um, this is the pink one. This is the big one for like 12 bucks. This is really good, guys. If you have um, dry skin, this is gonna be your friend because it's super duper good. I kind of just like to pat that in my skin. It kind of does the same thing that the toner does, but this one is just a little bit more towards the hydrating side. And you can actually use this for your makeup too, guys. So it's kind of like a two-in-one. And I love, love the way it hydrates my skin. I'm not really a big fan of the scent, so that's why I go in with this next product. This is another Mario Badescu product. This is the facial spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. I love this one because I feel like it smells like lemon. I don't know. Some people disagree with me on that, but it kind of smells like lemons to me. It smells so good. I do a couple spritz of that too, and I know you might think this is too much, and it kind of is. It's like, it's okay. Then I kind of just blend it all into my skin to make sure that my skin gets all the moisturization from it. Everything. And this is the Clinique Moisture Surge Face Spray Thirsty Skin Relief because sometimes at school my face might be a little quenched, a little dry, it needs a little something, something to refresh it, wake it up a little bit. And so I always carry this in my backpack just for, you know, to whip it out and just spray. I'm not going to include this because I don't include this in my everyday skincare routine. I only use this whenever I need it. So it's kind of like my asthma inhaler, you know. I have a rescue inhaler and then like a normal inhaler. My rescue inhaler stays in my backpack for every time. Like if I really need something, pop that hole real quick. And my normal inhaler is for just like everyday use. So this is all my everyday products. And this is for extra use when I'm at school. So this is kind of my rescue inhaler. Okay. By the way, um, if you guys want to know what type of mask I use, I like to use the Patchology, Patchology uh, mask. This is the blue one the hydrating one this is really good if you have dry patches this saves it the only problem with this is like it says after you take off the mask just to blend everything in but my skin feels so heavy when i do that like it feels disgusting so like i always go into water to lighten it up kind of you know to like dilute it on and this is actually my last one so i'm kind of sad patchology send me some more okay so now i'm going to actually show you guys some of my sister's skincare stuff because my sister has a more oily acne prone skin so this is the stuff she likes to use to really make sure her skin is bright and tight she uses the um sonicler petite one this is the one from michael todd and this is the rose gold one she really likes this one because she said it really makes her to get into her pores cleans everything out so this is a really really good help for that so if you have more acne prone skin i would really really suggest getting one of these and if you can't afford one of these there's definitely some cheaper alternatives that you can get from like tj maxx walmart um there's a lot of other ones she also uses this Bosha exfoliating exfoliating um peel gel um this one says this is a lightweight peeling gel um for a healthy complexion um it's chemical peel and it's just really good because i know she likes this one a lot too this is probably one of my sister's holy girl products and um, this is the cosmodex clear uh, deep cleansing mask um i actually got this for her and then one day she came in my room and she was all like oh my god look at my skin i was all like wow your skin is really clearing up around like her cheeks and stuff because she used this exfoliating exfoliating mask and like it really helped within the next day like in the morning it like you could see her skin was definitely clearing up so this is really good if you have acne prone skin and oily skin 
So sometimes you can only use exfoliating mask once every two weeks or once each week depending on your type of skin. But yeah, using exfoliating mask is not good to do like often. Like it's definitely not something you could do two times a week for sure. This Cosmodex one really, really helped her out and she fell in love with it actually. This is the I Am Organic Body Oil Energy Citrus and this guys smells amazing. Like it smells so good and it really does like give you that lightweight healthy glow all over your body you can even put this on your face if you want to on your chest like it just it does everything well, i hope you guys liked today's video and if you did make sure with a big thumbs up comment like subscribe and all that nice jazz follow my social media will be linked down below and yeah i don't much to say so goodbye